my channel. Today I have a little bit more of a fun eyeshadow look for you guys as opposed to the normal kind of toned down looks that I usually do. I was inspired by the Dream Street palette from ColourPop and Kathleen Lights. I just picked this up at Ulta and I really wanted to pick it up and play around with it. There are a lot of fun colors in this palette, perfect for summer. So this is just one of the many looks that you can create with this. It's a perfect everyday look, goes really well with like your corporate job, sitting down at a desk, you know, like children's birthday party. It's kind of like on par with that. So if you guys want to see how I got this look using this palette, then just keep on watching. So this is the look that we're going to be trying to achieve today. I'm going to walk you through step by step on this eye. My eyebrows are already done and cut. And now I have my eyelid primed with just a little bit of concealer that I blended out with my finger and did not set. We want this to be tacky because the eyeshadows that we're gonna use aren't the most pigmented, so we want something for that pigment to stick to. I'm gonna be using my Dream Street palette by Kathleen Lights and ColourPop, and the first thing that I'm gonna do is take a small condensed shadow brush, just like this, and we're gonna go into that kind of navy blue teal color right in the middle here. And we're gonna pack this on the inner corner of our eye and the outer corner up to the crease. You want this to open up kind of like a little funnel from your lash line up to the crease. So you can go ahead and pull it in a little bit tighter down by your lash line. I'm gonna keep going over this until it is as intense as I want it to be. I really wanna pack the color on there because once we start blending it out, we're gonna lose a lot of that pigment. With that down, I'm gonna take a little pencil brush and I'm gonna go into this kind of peachy shade up here and I'm gonna pack this into the crease on top of that blue. Now is when we're gonna start blending, but before we do that, I wanna lay down some tape so that we have a clean, sharp edge after we blend all of that out. Now taking any clean blending brush, I'm just gonna go over the edges of those two colors until that harsh line is completely gone. This is gonna take a while, so be really patient with it and just keep blending. I promise you, it will blend out. I think this is as blended out as we need it to be right now. Now we're gonna go back in with some concealer and we're gonna carve out that funnel shape again. So I'm taking my Radiant NARS Creamy Concealer and I'm just gonna put a little bit on the back of my hand, that's all you need. And then I'm gonna take a flat brush and I'm gonna carve it out. You wanna make sure to keep this top line as clean as possible because it's gonna get a little bit muddy once you put the shadow on top and you want it to look somewhat sharp. So putting this first layer of concealer down is gonna give it something to stick to so that it doesn't move around too much. Now I'm gonna go into this shimmery peachy pink shade right here and I'm gonna pack that over that concealer. well now so now I'm just gonna go over with a smaller blending brush on the outside edge right here just to make sure that we get rid of that harsh line again I don't want to go over that gold because once I pull that out it's gonna go all over the place gonna be here for a while and then just lightly on the inner corner not too much because we want this to be sharp but just to soften it a little bit I'm pretty happy with how that's blended out so now I'm gonna move on to eyeliner. As you can tell, I went for a big dramatic wing today. So I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. And if you guys would like to see how I normally do my eyeliner, I'll leave that up in the eye button right here. Some easy, quick tips to help you guys get a perfect liner every time. We're gonna finish up that bottom lash line now. I'm gonna go back in with that blue and then back over it again with that matte peachy shade. I'm gonna do this just with a small fluffy brush. Dip right into that blue and go all along the bottom lash line, finishing up that outer V right there and pulling it in towards my inner corner. Before we put the palette away, I'm gonna go into this more shimmery peach shade here with a tiny little pencil brush 
and highlight the inner corner and under my brow bone. Along my waterline, I'm going to go in with a teal pencil from NYX and then I'm also going to go into the outside a little bit with some black. Finishing off the lower lashes with some Tarte Tardis Mascara, we're going to go on top with some big lashes later, so we're just going to leave those alone for now. I'm going to start off my face with some primer. My favorite right now is the Cover FX Blurring Primer. I got this in a boxy charm and it has quickly become my go-to primer for everyday use. Just with a pea-sized amount, I'm going to go over the spots where my pores and texture usually bother me. So that's going to be around my piezo. For foundation, I'm going to be using my Tarte Shape Tape Foundation. This is the hydrating one. For summer, I like to look a little bit more dewy. So that's why I'm sticking with this, even though I do tend to have a little bit oilier skin. I mean, let's be honest, this is coming off as soon as I turn my camera off, so really doesn't matter. I just picked up this beauty sponge from Morphe, and I absolutely love this thing. It's still not even close to the beauty blender, but for $7, this is the best alternative I have found, and I have tried a lot of different beauty sponges. Concealer, I'm using my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer as always, putting this in the normal spots. Before this all creases on me, I'm gonna set it down with my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. And again with the beauty sponge from Morphe. I've also decided that we're gonna just like fully ignore my blemishes today because like I said this makeup is coming off as soon as the camera turns off and I don't feel like wasting my good makeup. Cool! Now that I look like a crackhead I'm gonna sit here that's offensive to crackheads. So I kind of just decided something and bear with me, this could mess the entire look up, but it could also be like kind of cool. Um, I think I'm gonna take a little bit of that gold in the center again and put it in the center right under my lower lash line. Is this a bad idea? Probably. Am I gonna do it anyway? This has been sitting for a little bit, so I'm gonna go ahead and wipe that away. I'm gonna go in and do some contouring now. I'm gonna try out the Pure Sculptor palette, and I'm gonna use this color right here. It might be a little too dark for me, and if it is, we're all gonna ignore it and just go along with it, okay? Just like, go for it, you know? Be a little adventurous sometimes. Okay, it goes on strong and muddy. This is taking a turn for the worst real fast. I have this like really weird hairline going on here. I've always had that for my entire life, so I just like to pack some contour in there too. Just to kind of make it seem smaller than it is. A little bit under the chin here. And I'm gonna take it down the sides of my nose as well. And now I'm gonna blend this all out aggressively because that was not the right shade for me. I'm gonna quickly bronze up my face now with the Marc Jacobs Oh Mega Bronzer just to try to blend that in a little bit. Give me a little bit of a sun-kissed look. And I'm gonna pull this down my neck just to match everything because my foundation never matches. Am I tan? Am I not tan? Am I red? Am I yellow? No one will ever know. For blush, I'm gonna be using my Milani Rose Blush in Tea Rose. Just on the apples of my cheeks, not too much. But I just wanna bring a little bit of life back to my face. For my highlight, I wanna stick with something that's a little bit more gold to complement that gold in the middle. So I'm gonna go in with a mix of Rodeo Drive and Pillow Talk, just to kind of soften it a bit. This is from the Ofra Feelin' Myself Highlighter Palette, but you can also buy these as singles. I don't know if you guys can hear that music playing, but my upstairs neighbor somewhere blasts techno music all the time, and I think that he's like a young kid, and I constantly hear his computer going off, like the AIM little you got a message thing. 
Like who uses that anymore? What makes that noise anymore? Before we put on our lips, I'm gonna go in with some false lashes. I'm using the House of Lashes Iconic Light. Let me know down in the comments if you guys want me to show you how to put on false lashes. Honestly, I'm not that amazing at it, but I do have some like tricks that I use all the time to kind of help. And if you've never put lashes on before, I probably know a little bit more than you. For my lips, you're probably all sick of this by now, but it is my favorite lip to go to. I am horrible at pairing eye looks with lipstick, especially when it's something so bold like this. So I'm going in with my go-to safe bet. I'm gonna line my lips with the NYX Lip Pencil in Soft Brown, and then go on top of that with the Ofra Liquid Lipstick in Bel Air. gonna give myself a quick spray of my Urban Decay De-Slick Setting Spray. And that is it. Alright guys, so that is all I have for you today. I hope you guys enjoyed this more creative look as opposed to the kind of toned down everyday natural looks that I normally do. I just wanted to switch it up a little bit and do something a little bit more fun. So if you guys like more creative things like this, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up so that I know what kind of content you guys want me to film. And hit that big red subscribe button right down below, wherever the hell it is at this point, so that you guys can stay up to date with when I post new videos every week. As always, thank you guys for taking the time to sit down and watch my videos. I really appreciate the couple of you that do sit down. I have so much fun doing this and it means a lot to me when I can actually help you guys out. But that is all I have for now, so until next time, bye guys.